Hey crazy fam, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Tori and I've done a tanning sort of video in the past, but I want to do an update and try a few different things. But before I show you the full body reveal of how pale I am, which is way paler than my face is right now, which you'll see in the full body reveal, I need to find a bathing suit to put on to really show you the paper whiteness that is going on here. So I have all my like clean laundry right here that I need to put away, don't judge me. I kind of folded it over so it wouldn't get wrinkly, but I still haven't put it away and this was days ago. But point is, I think there's a bathing suit in here. Oh, a dryer sheet, exciting. And bathing suit top and the bottoms are in here somewhere too but let me get this on and i will show you a full body reveal it's kind of crazy how truly pale i am like pale 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 i used to get called ghost or casper as a joke as a kid so i want to try doing my tan again in the improved kind of way if you notice when we get closer I am actually wearing foundation that's going to be the color I'm going to be after the tan. So my face almost looks like it could match my shoulders if you're like looking quickly, but looking at the difference, obviously I am way, way, way paler than my face is. It's kind of crazy the difference when you see it up close. So I'm gonna try to achieve a similar color to my face. I have done it before and it's come out pretty similar, just not a very even tone. So. You know, we're gonna do the improved way today. This is kind of part of multiple videos that will be on, you know, self-improvement and just kind of bringing myself up during quarantine because I've been sleeping in super late, not doing my makeup, just spending my time watching TV and trying to attempt to get things done, but for the most part, just sulking around and sleeping and looking like a hot mess. So today is gonna be my tanning video, but I'm definitely gonna do a hair dyeing video so we can deal with these crazy roots and dye my eyebrows so they will match my hair better. <laughs> and to see a bunch of different stuff, but today I'm gonna take you along with me tanning. We're also gonna ignore my nails throughout this video because I have an upcoming update on how I do my nails and trying a new product. So for now, it's going to be clean fingernails for the self tan, which will actually make it way easier to do without the nails on. So it's kind of perfect, but I promise that nail video is coming soon. You're welcome to check out my old one, which is how I have done them for a while and I love it. I just wanna try a new product out. The one big difference between my old tanning video and this tanning video though is I finally bought a glove. It just says like fashion. It's some random cheap glove on Amazon. They were sold out of so many like recommended ones and I probably would have gone for a cheap one anyway, but even the recommended cheap ones were sold out. I unboxed this product in my Amazon hauls video, so you're welcome to check it out there and get more information. Let's get this bad boy open and ready to use. She looks like this. The point is we're about to get this tan on, and supposedly this glove is supposed to make it way easier. So I will let you know because I have done this tan, and also you can check out the old video where I did this tan without this and I did it with plastic gloves and we'll kind of see what the differences are and I'll let you know personally if I think like oh if you're gonna tan you need this bad boy so I'll let you know but I have a golden rule when it comes to tanning the few times I've done it and achieved not a bad tan for the record is I need a new razor head so I get rid of the old bad boy and I put on a new one I have one more in this row and I like buying just the packs of like men's razor heads and using them on the handles I already have. I have a bunch of these from a while ago and most of mine are covered in hair dye. But point is, I always like to start with a fresh razor blade so I get that really smooth, smooth legs. And I'm considering trying Nair. So if anybody has used Nair and then tanned, let me know how it goes. Like. How smooth of a surface does it give you? I'm also going to exfoliate the fudge out of myself. I don't have any exfoliating like body wash right now, but I do have a bunch of some, I'll show you one sec. In this cabinet here is what I'm gonna use instead of exfoliating body wash because I bought a bunch of these right here when I was using it to wash my face, but my dermatologist said it wasn't right for my skin. So I bought them in bulk right before I found this out and I found that they've actually been a good like body exfoliator. So that's what I've been doing and that's what I do before my tan. It's very exfoliating. I usually mix it up with some soap and let's get to it folks. Let's get this tan on so I'm not as paste white. If you didn't watch my last video, you don't know what tanner I'm gonna be using. I will show you soon, but if you wanna know what it's like without the tanning mitt and just plastic gloves, feel free to check out the last video, but this one is gonna be with this bad boy right here. And before anything, I need to use this razor with the new blade and deal with these atrocious legs. 
I know they may not look that bad. I actually shaved not not that long ago. But still, these bad boys are hairy. That doesn't make for a good tan, and in general, I just don't want to have hairy legs. Any girl know that feeling of random bruises that they don't know how they got? Like, I have one here, one here, here, here. No idea how I got these. Oh, and another one here. Just kind of woke up with them. Yes, I'm going into the shower with a full face of makeup, but I have my razor and my exfoliator, and I'm just going to put up my hair in a bun and kind of just try to dodge the water and hope for the best. So let's grab our tools and get to the shower, folks. This is a one time and only time I'm gonna invite you to my shower. And that is for my random shaving clips I take. Time to go into the shower. And well, my floor is very nasty because I just got it unclogged. And I'm just gonna wipe it up and continue to film like you never saw how gross it really was. Okay, that's clean enough to be somewhat socially acceptable. Let's get this water on. Just a little bit of cold and a lot of hot. I'm just gonna take the St. Ives and do a stroke across my leg. I add the body wash to make it more consistent with a body wash with an exfoliator in it because this is too pasty to really move around on my skin. So I definitely need the body wash to move it around, get it exfoliated because I want all the dead skin off so that we can really get an even tan. I make sure to do really good in the ankles and the feet because those are definitely an area that the tan doesn't go on as well. So I just get it all exfoliated up. Guess who's still on the floor exfoliating her legs? Now that I'm all exfoliated up, it is time for the shaving cream. Because, you know, necessities for shaving. I didn't used to use it, but now I do. And if you want the reality of filming TikToks, I have shaving cream all over my legs because I had to redo a clip a few times. Don't worry, I'll still use it all. It's like a shaving cream party up in here. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. Like I said, it'll get used. I'm going to shave the majority of my body. Yes. That looks so cool. Remember as kids, you like play with shaving cream and you like color with like food coloring or something. And you like color on the wall. I remember, oh, what was those things you like shoot out of the bottle and it literally did this. And you could like draw in the bathroom. Like, why can't we have this stuff as adults? Well, I guess we can. We choose not to. Why do we choose not to? Three hours later, and my body will be shaved. I promise. At the end of this, I will have a shaved body. Now that I am exfoliated and shaved and ready, it is time to grab my tanning lotion, which is the TanWise One Hour Sunless Lotion. That is what I use. I am currently filming a TikTok on how I do this watching some TV, and now I am about to actually get this tan game on. You get to see one leg with an application and one leg without because, well, TikTok saw it first. We'll see how it develops and if any spots need to be fixed. But for now, I'm gonna show you on this leg how I did everything. I am using a tanning mitt, and since I'm gonna do this leg, I gotta make sure I put it on the inside of the glove. I'm gonna give it a good dollop on there. And I hear that you're supposed to do it in circular motion, so I kind of tried the circular motion thing at first. And depending on the area, it seemed like it applied better or worse with circular motion. Sometimes I had to go kind of straight, kind of just work with what your skin is like showing you. And for the most part, try to keep it circular because I just heard that is the best deal. And if you can tell, it's way darker than my own skin, but not exactly that color because it's not evened out yet. I try to avoid my ankles, feet, and knees, aka all like the joint points and the parts that are harder to tan, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next for those, just to hope that I get a better application. I finished the application on this leg, and I want to do my joints. Obviously, yes, it looks different than this leg. This leg has had a moment to develop, this one hasn't. So we're gonna go in and do the joints so everything is developing at the same time. What I do is I just take the bottle of my tan stuff and a brush and I just put a little bit of the product on top and I will flex my knee like this so that I can really get in there at all the details and then as I get to the edges I'll just blend it out more so it's time to move on to the feet I used to do a really bad job at this because I would just do it with the glove in my hand I got a bunch of recommendations to use a brush on my joints so I will let you know how it goes and if it really works out better now that I have my legs done, it's time to get my body done, which always makes me so nervous. Because you can really, 
really tell the difference on my body compared to my legs. So it is time to blend this in and make this look good. My chest sometimes ends up looking patchy. We'll see if the glove fix that problem, but let me finish this before I flash you guys. I thought I'd show you my makeshift invention. Basically, I put the tanning glove on the end of a back scratcher exfoliator thing. I didn't put this end inside because it didn't really fit well, so I put the end of the handle and I was kind of just like brushing those spots on my back that I couldn't get. This is like my makeshift boyfriend, you know? An extra arm for that little bit of space I needed to get to my back. Whoop, whoop, whoop to my back, getting those spots that I couldn't get without it. Now in the morning, I will show you how this tan turns out and kind of give my final impressions on what using the glove was like and the brush around my joints and how it ended up turning out. Just give you some feedback in general. So I will see you in the morning. This is a one hour tan, so technically I can wash it off in an hour, but I decided I'm going to wash it off in the morning just to let it sit for a little bit longer. Also, I don't want to wait an hour to shower off because, well, I kind of want to go to bed. So it is time to get these lashes off, take my makeup off completely, and go to sleep. Good morning. So yes, my feet probably look a little bit crazy. I need to wash them off and in general wash off the whole entire tan, but I just want to show you how it developed overnight before I take my shower. And if you want to see like the shower reveal afterwards, just keep watching my vlogs and you'll see how it develops. But I want to show you my full body to give you an idea of what the tan looks like now that it is the next morning. I feel like it almost looks like I'm wearing a bodysuit, but I just kind of tucked my robe up because I don't want to get any of the dye on my clothes. But this is how the tan looks. My legs look super tan. They definitely develop more than the rest of my body. So I'll probably have to do another application on my chest because that's how it looks. It's definitely lighter and then my arms are lighter than that. So I think I'll do another application of my arms and chest to get it closer to my legs, but I'll kind of see how it looks after I get out of the shower. No, I did not put self-tanner on my face. My tan goes up to my jaw right here, and just because I've read a lot about putting self-tanner on your face can really make you break out, and I've already been kind of like breaking out a lot right now, and I'm trying to clear it up, so I don't want to mess with my progress at all, and I didn't do it there. Now, my final opinions on the tanning mitt is that it is a definite must and not per se because of the application but because of the time if you've ever self tanned before or considered doing it you've probably looked into the fact or know the fact that it takes forever to put that tanner on like you're covering your whole entire body in this cream that you're trying to apply evenly the glove does a lot of that work for you so i'd say definitely a must overall like looking at my body i would say the application is more even definitely quickness you can get an even consistency quicker and as for brushes in the joints, I would say it was a trial and error type of thing. Trying to figure out the best way to do it. I mixed between using the mitt and the brush. And I seem to get a pretty good consistency, especially like on my hands and knees and elbows that I didn't before. Feet are still always a thing for me because mine are usually dry and it just doesn't work that well. We'll see how it looks after the shower. But I finished that bottle of Tanner. So if you have any recommendations on Tanners you want me to try in the future in a video, definitely let me know. I am considering trying like an oil or something and actually getting a tan outside, which I don't want to do too much because, you know, skin cancer and I'm super pale and it definitely can happen. So I won't do it that often, but maybe once in a while because the tan lasts so much longer than a fake tan. And if I'm gonna be outside anyway, I might as well take advantage of it. You know what I mean? And so if you have any recommendations for outside tanners too, let me know and I will try them out and do a video down the road. And I appreciate you all watching to the end. Please, please, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam if you haven't already. And I will see you in one day. Yes, one day with a new video. Have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you crazy fam. I will see you soon.